Everyone in this arena has a money stake in one of our famous couples as we play the game of celebrity gossip, Tattletales. And here's the star of Tattletales and a friend, Bert Convy. Thank you, everybody. Welcome to Tattletales. Nice to have you with us. Uh, as you know, our studio audience is divided into three sections, and this idiot looking over my left shoulder is, as you may have guessed by now, the star of Match Game 74, Mr. Gene Raver. Where? What is he doing there? <laughs> what is he doing there? I'll tell you what he's doing. down your neck like that. Today, uh, please. <laughs> That's not bad, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Today we have kind of a, a crazy day, and Gene has been kind enough to come over and help us out. Um, they're going to pay me back for all these weeks. Of, my wife, Ann, is here today, and we're going to play the game. And, Gene, it's all in your hands now. Thank you very Be much, Bert. Indeed, I will. Thank you. Thank you, now. Did he say the studio audience is divided into three rooting sections? Yes, I said that already. He said all that, yes, sir. Yes. And the people over here in the blue section will be rooting for the former host of Tattletales, Bert Convey and his pretty wife, Anne. <laughs> Hello, Anne. Hello. How is pretty Anne Convey? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Pleasure to do business with you. Thank you. So all right. Here. Now the people here in this center yellow section We'll be rooting for Roger Perry, actor Roger Perry and Joanne Worley. Hi. Joanne. Good. Hello, Joanne. How are you, sweetheart? I am well, darling. Good. Joanne and I do a, a number together on the match game, and she's terrific there. She's going to be terrific here. And Roger Perry is going to be terrific. Are you, Roger? Willing. We'll see. I'll talk to you afterwards. Is I the, think jury, the, the jury still out? Yes. Yeah. Darling, I think it's just incredible that Bert will go to any length to get his wife on television. <laughs> <laughs> Devil. Okay. And the people in the red section there will be rooting for Harvey Corman. And his... <laughs> before on a number of occasions and he's a terrific fella and we all know he won an Emmy of course but I've never worked with that pretty lady named Donna hello Donna hello how are you I'm fine you ready to have a go at this yes okay ready. let's have a go at this now one word about the scoring we start out with $150 where am I this says that's scoring camera three there a little late there let's get rid of that you're doing very well Gino. thank you so much I'll ask questions all through the show <laughs> we, we start with $150 in the pot if all three celebrities uh, come up with the right answer, they all share. If only one celebrity comes up with a couple comes up with the right answer, then that celebrity couple will get the hundred and fifty dollars. Here is question number one. Oh, <laughs> is number two in there too? Well, I don't know. We'll find out right now. Now, ladies, are you ready? Yes. Ready. Now, for some reason, listen to this now. For some reason, you get mad at your guy. Which of the following is your reaction? One, you blow your stack. Two, you choke it up inside. Three, you sit down and try and talk it over reasonably. You got it, the idea? For some reason, you get mad at your guy, which is your reaction. You blow your stack, you choke it up inside, you sit down and try to talk it over reasonably. You think about that. Do not respond now. We'll call on you later. Goodbye, ladies. And now we'll turn to the gentleman beginning with this man here. Bert, what do you say? <laughs> She's going to say. It uh, feels a lot different uh, sitting it here than it does out there. We ask hard questions. Boy, uh, you really You blow your that. stack, you choke it up inside, you sit down and try and talk it over reasonably. Which will Anne say? Well, she reacts differently according to the crime I commit. I mean, <laughs> if, if, the, uh, if, you know, if I do something really terrible, it can be instant explosion. Yep. If she, yeah, it can be a simmer. It, uh, it depends, really. But I would say um, that... She, I, I think I'll say that she blows her stack. It's, it's, it is a tough question. Yep. They're all this way, aren't they? Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> I've been putting people through this for a long time. Okay, You're gonna I'm going to say she blows her stack. I'm going to say she, she blows her stack. All right, let's all cool it and get Anne out here. Anne. Now, Anne. Yes? Have you thought about this? Yes. And now tell us, do you blow your stack? Do you choke it up inside? Do you sit down and try and talk it over reasonably? Well, not only do I blow my stack, but I poke him in the eye and bite him in the ankle. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
She said she bites him in the ankle. That's wonderful, too. Oh. It is. <laughs> you must have tried that yeah, these guys like it. Okay, Ann and Bert will share in that pot, and now let's go to Joanne and Roger and talk to Roger. How do you think Joanne is going to respond to this? Now, let's see. I'll give it to you guys. Hello? You blow your stack, you choke it up inside, you sit down and try and talk it over reasonably. What will she say? Actually, none of the above. She wouldn't choke... Uh, she wouldn't... Uh, what, what, I'm sorry. Did, did she, she blows her stack, she chokes it up and... Uh, uh, yeah, just swallows it and says nothing about it, you know. And she probably it choke me. Choke you. Yeah. That would mean she'd blow her stack. No. No? That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> oh. What are you saying, Ron? Well, what yeah. I'm saying is, no, that, uh, she, uh, uh, she really will say that she tries to sit down and talk it over. If she gets mad at you, instead yes. of blowing up, she yes. has to sit down. Yeah, it never works out that way, but uh, she, uh, that, that's what that's she what would want say. to do. Right. She's going to say that now. Yes. Right in front of everybody. <laughs> okay, we're going to find out what she's going to say. So. Let's bring Joanne out here. Joanne. Yes. When you get mad at your guy, how do you react? Do you blow your stack? Do you choke it up inside? Do you sit down and try and talk it over reasonably? Well, darling, Roger is so perfect. He's he would perfect. never give me cause to get angry with him. But if he did, I would blow up immediately. You would blow up immediately. Roger didn't say that. He didn't say that. He said, that. No, disgusting. He uh, said you're a sweet, lovely, oh, reasonable honey. person and you'd talk it over. Oh, darling. You're always saying, you know, let's sit down and talk this over. And I'm always saying, no. Yeah, but I say it's so angry. I blow my stack. Oh, yeah. darling. Well, we'll talk about it later. Talk about it later. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne. <laughs> Okay, now we come to Donna and Harvey. How do you think Donna's going to respond to this, uh, Well, uh, Donna and I have, uh, uh, it's taken us a long time to evolve into a really mature relationship. Really? It's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> have you been uh, married long? Uh, about 14 years. Well, then, you must know that lady well, and you yes. must know how she's going to respond. Yes, she would, uh, uh, as the way the re relationship started out, she would choke it up. And then she went through a phase where she blew her stack. But now, we're talking about the now. The now. We're talking about the now. She would sit down and talk it over with me reasonably. I have no doubt at all about that. Fort Red section. Of marriage. Never fear, Red Section. We're in. Okay. <laughs> all right, Red Section. Cool it. No clues here. Everybody quiet. Here comes Donna. Hello, Donna. Hello. We've been waiting for you because we need an answer from you right now. If you get mad at the man in your life, do you blow your stack? Do you choke it up inside? Do you sit down and try and talk it over reasonably? First, I blow my stack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's your answer, Donna. Yeah. That's Back not what doctor. Harvey said. Harvey said you sit down and you try and talk it over reasonably because you have undergone such a maturation process you have an emotional maturity of 112. <laughs> that's what he said. But that's this week. That's this week. Yeah. Okay, well, so that means, thank you, Donna. Yeah, that thank means you, Donna. Donna and Harvey do not share in this pot. Joanne and Roger do not. Ann and Bert won the pot. $150 for them. No score over there. All right, we're going to carry on here with Cattle Tales, but first we've got this message of interest for one and all gathered here today. Thank <laughs> you.